Hey everyone, it's your girl Jassy, aka J Renee, back at it again with another video. So today we're gonna be making um some lace up jeans. I know y'all have seen them. Yeah, usually like you've seen the ones with the lacing in the back, but I wasn't really a big fan of that. So I'm gonna do mine on the sides. So, you know, you gotta spice it up a bit. I mean, people have done that before too, but yeah. And the only thing I would have did differently with this one is use high waisted jeans and not like the mid rise that I used that y'all see. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video. Hit that like button because I know you're gonna like this video. So without further ado, let us get into the video. So this pair of jeans I'm starting out with, I got from a bunch of clothes that I got from a friend. The waist doesn't fit me, you know, that well, but most jeans don't. And they are not as long as, you know, I would hope them to be, but that's okay. I'm gonna use my washable marker and make like a V-shape starting at this stitch at the side of the pant and then going up about eight, nine inches, kind of like to halfway up the pocket and behind the first belt loop. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. They have like a stitch on the side and that's where it ends. And that's how far I'm gonna go up. And I'm using these pants that I've got from up the thrift store. I'll have a video on that journey later but that's what we're gonna use now and so first taking the pants and we're just gonna cut out that blue line that we made it's about three or four inches across i know i'm gonna have to cut through this pocket so i'm just gonna cut through the whole thing i thought i was gonna seam rip this belt loop but i just ended up cutting it off all together so yeah you're gonna see me seam rip because i did try to you know do my best to do that but instead i just ended up cutting it all off and making that v wider i also had to cut off some of that pocket that we had left we're just gonna sew that down later because we're not gonna use it it's in the way and so i'm just gonna pin that down for right now as we cut out everything else and so that's how your shape should look. So now that we have both shapes cut out, we're gonna measure each side. They're about nine inches each. I try to make each side the same. And if not, they're, if they're not the same, we're gonna cut off a little more. The edges on this side weren't even, so I just cut off a little more. And I'm taking the pants, all that string that they have, we don't really need all that string so we're just gonna unravel it up to the point where i need to measure off so i'm going to measure off about 10 inches 9 10 inches from each of those um eyelet things and so right where i need to cut i'm going to cut in between those eyelets and grommets and once i've cut the first one i'm going to cut the second one of course So I'm getting those pants out the way, but yet I'm gonna need another pair of eyelids. So get those pants back and make two more. And then once we have that, take your jeans and we're going to pin one side of these grommets to the edge of the pants. So it might be a little, there might not be enough space, but I made it work. So I think you can make it work. And if it doesn't work like it did here, I'm just gonna pin it on the bottom of the pants just to make sure that everything has, you know, is connected. I'm really taking my time with this because I wanna make sure that all the parts are gonna be overlapped. You don't really wanna have any parts that are not overlapped because there's gonna be a pull on these eyelids when you add the strings in and you don't want that. So now that we have that one, fold the end of it, of the top part down, whichever end has more, and cut off all the excess. And that's the first one. So all we have to do is the second one. And now just go sew that down. Boom. So now the sewing machine, we're gonna take our time because 
this is sped up but i'm really trying to make sure the jeans and this grommet piece overlap very well so i can sew it down and i'm actually making two stitches well i'm gonna go over once and then go over it again because i know that the grommet pieces pull and so i just want to make sure that when it pulls it doesn't pull the whole thing off altogether. at the end of them i'm gonna make one stitch while it's folded down and make sure that it's not wide too wide at the bottom so then like the pants will look weird and that's really how it should look and so for the pocket i'm just gonna sew that down right along where the pocket seam is in a curve And so clip all of your ends off. We don't need them. They're ugly. Shoo, shoo. Bye. And I did have to add in another top grommet piece because the other one burnt off when I was trying to burn off the ends. Don't do that. And don't make your life harder. So cut off all those excess. And now it's time for the strings. Um, I just ended up taking off the whole leg of strings from the pants because I don't really know how much I'm gonna use. I use a lot more than I need it. And so here I'm just trying to pull it through to see how much I'm gonna actually need. And my method didn't really work because I cut off a lot more than I needed. But you know what, it's okay, we're gonna work through it. I mean, you can always cut more off if you want to. I didn't want to because I don't like wasting string like that. So I used the whole thing. And so whatever I thought I needed, I just cut that off and made another one with it mine i tried to measure it it was about it was more than 18 inches twice so 18 inches so 18 times 2 is 36 and then double that because you need two halves is like 72 so yeah and so once we have that we're just gonna loop it in going in from the top just like you with some shoestrings i guess i don't really know I mean, I lace my shoes, but I do it however I feel like I need to do it. So we're just gonna lace them one by one over top of each other. And then that's pretty much how it should look. And when you tie it, yes, I have extra long string, but we're gonna figure that out later, I promise. Do it to the other side, and wow, I think you're finished. So let's try these on. And I looped the laces around a couple times around on each side and then like tied them on the side because they had a lot of leftover string but these turned out really cute this was a really simple quick and easy diy and i really like how these turned out so if you ever try these let me know make sure you tag me on insta and all that good stuff but really that is it for this video i will see you guys in the next one Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video. Like this video too and you just made my day. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.